Welcome you to customer. When you have ODBC application like Microsoft Excel, access, you want to access Universe or Unidata server, then you need to install U2 ODBC client on your Windows machine. The next uh, the demo is how to install U2 ODBC client and set up the DSN. So U2 ODBC client have 32 bit and 64 bit. So how can you get the driver? You can get from RBC website. Uh, normally uh, you can uh, go to RBC website and log in and not log in. So if you're not logged in, you will see on the screen right now. So you will see search product of abilities. From there, you can go to uh, product metrics to choose U2 client. So U2 client here and choose the Windows version. So inside the U2 client Windows version, so here's the auction, the latest one was 5 to 1. If you uh, choose the product download, and you can hear to YouTube clients, uh, current client downloads. So you will get the YouTube client 5 to 1 version. So uh, when you download it, and actually it's the download folder. So inside the download folder, you will see the download folder. I can show the download folder here. So you see the version here. So you can walk from here or you can copy to uh, temp uh, folders. After you copy to another folder like a temp folder. So you in the temp folder you will see like this. Uh, you extract all the zip file. So that YouTube client uh, include a lot of client like ODBC, UOJ, JDBC, all the client in one piece. You can uh, just choose one particular. So it depends you want to use in 32 bit or 64 bit. For uh, this demo, uh, working on the YouTube ODBC uh, 64 bit, you can run from here to auto run. So if you run this, you have an option to select to run uh, Rocket U2 ODBC client, so you can select to 32 bit install it, a 64 bit installation. Or you also can uh, direct go to here to install from here. But if you have previous version uh, installed on your machine, so you might be need to uh remove it so you can go to program and future and to uninstall existing version uh for example like a u2 64 bit odvc driver so you install it after you install it you can install it so after you install the driver then you will see the driver you should see 64 bit if you run ODBC data source administrator 64 bit version you can see the the 64 bit ODBC driver there before you want to create the DSN you need to uh, set up the we call UCI data source uh, for the UCI data source uh, actually uh, we have tool come with the installation called UCI configuration editor tool. So inside this tool uh, you can create the add the new data source. So I can use in the test for example I can uh, test UV1. So that's a new data source and a machine will be localhost or any uh, machine name. Uh, you want to connect to the local machine or remote like a Unix machine, you can put the host name or IP address. So after you create it, so you will generate uh, four parameters. So uh, for the UCI editor, actually you can add a lot of the uh, additional parameter. For example, you can see they have a lot of the parameter you can add it. 
So by default, you only need to uh, just four parameters. So after you create it, so you can uh, save it. You can update it. You see a config file. So you will you will create it. Also, UCI editor have the have the capability to uh, encrypt the UCI config file. Actually, this tool it just uh, save the text file. If not, encrypt the UCI config file. So you can uh, after you save it, and you can. Uh, Go back to the uh, the file explorer to looking for uh, UCI config file. So here the uh, you actually by default you will store here called UCI the editor uh, UCI config file. So for the UCI config file, so actually you see we just create a test UV one. Let's say we just using UCI editor to create it. Actually, if you familiar the UCI config file, another easy way uh, you you just need to copy file line to uh, here. For example, you can set test UV2, so you can see uh, you just created another uh, UCI data source. So after you create the test uh, test UV1 or test UV2, so you can uh, save it. After save it. So you can uh, go back to uh, ODBC data source administrator tool to create a user DSN or system DSN. For example, I want to create a system DSN, then I can use an add, uh, add the uh, new data source uh, based on the new data source I choose, a uh, U264-bit ODBC driver. So after you choose the driver, you will see the auction like this. So inside here, we call ODBC data source name. I just call the same name, UV2 uh, or UV1. So you can select the UCI data source, and you'll see we just create the two additional test UV1 or test UV2, basically the same. So I can connect to, for example, like a universe or unit data. Uh, for here, it's connect to universe. So you can see the database. Uh, count name will be h sales. Then you can uh, put the, uh, the username, uh, password. So you have option to say the password, not say the password. They have additional option to, uh, you can forward password, you can active. And this kind of additional problem see the uh, U2 ODBC menu. So basically, you can, after you create it, you can just test DSN. Successful. So you can OK. So after you create it, you create the test UV uh, new assistant DSN. So after you create it, then you can use by uh, ODBC client like a 64 bit Excel. Or some other MS Query or MS Access, some other ODBC tool.